Welcome back to Tech Minded, where we help you get more from tech. It's been a while since I've been able to post, but today we're going to go over the topic of speeding up your Android device, whether it's for gaming or photography. I'm going to show you how to speed up your device so it'll run just like you want it to. First, we're going to go to the Google Play Store and download files by Google. This is Google's app, obviously, and you use it to clean up your phone. It's one of the better cleaning apps I've found. There's not a whole lot of bloat in the app. Just download it and open it, and it's going to show you how much storage you have and how much is being used. And we're going to use this to clear up our cache on our phone. Right now I'm scrolling through to show you all the different files. It'll show you different folders. It shows you really what's taking up the most space. And then you can use it to clean up those junk files, which is just going to be data, just log data and things like that in your apps. So you'll be able to use it to clean that up. And then you can go through like these folders, just like the DJI folder that I'm showing, and you can select individual files you want to clear out and it'll sort them into what the larger files are. So it's a really handy tool to show you what's going on with your storage. You also need to take a look at your unused apps. As you can see here, I've got 11 gigabytes of unused apps on my phone because I install apps and then I don't really use them or I use them for a while and then forget about them and I don't forget to, un to uh, uninstall them. And as you can see here, we're just going to uninstall several of the apps and that's going to recover almost two and a half gigabytes of space. And the app does this automatically. You just have to go through and hit the OK button as it prompts you to uninstall the app. So that's the first way we're going to go ahead and start cleaning up our device. Cleaning it up gives it more room for memory, which will in turn speed up your phone. Now we're going to go to our settings. We're going to disable some bloatware that comes on your phone. All devices come with it, whether it's stuff from your device manufacturer or from your carrier. There's tons of stuff on the phone that you don't necessarily need and it's just taking up space or running in the background. So as you can see here, I've got several things disabled already because these would run automatically when I didn't want them to or like AT&T Smart Wi-Fi was constantly scanning for Wi-Fi when I don't need that. I already, you know, I know where I'm going and I just use the Wi-Fi at the places I've already used it before. So go to your app list and scroll down through there and find the different things that you don't recognize or don't need. Be careful when you're disabling system apps. You can always search on Google for that app and you should be able to figure out whether or not it's safe to disable it. but this is the briefing. It's, it's just a part of the Bixby thing on my Samsung phone and I don't need it. It gives me like updated news articles and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and disable it just to show you how the disable process goes. And just like that, it's disabled. So you can't uninstall it. Several of these apps are you're not gonna be able to uninstall because they came on your phone, but you can disable them. And it's essentially the same thing. It just doesn't wipe them completely, but it keeps them from running and keeps them from using any background data or anything like that. But you can scroll all the way down the list and you'll find several different apps that you can probably disable to speed up your device. Another one I found was my AT&T. Now this one was a larger app and I don't know what it does in the background other than notifying me of data usage and stuff like that, but I went ahead and disabled it too. Now we're going back to our settings and we're going to check for a software update. It's always good to make sure you're running the latest software. It's a little thing, but it's something you want to check for every now and then. It just takes a few seconds and as you can see my current software is up to date, so we're going to move on. A 
Another thing you can do to speed up your phone is to restart your device. If you haven't restarted your device lately, you really need to go ahead and restart it at least about once a week. Just power off your device and power it back on or click that restart button and let it do it itself. Either way it's good because it just frees up the memory and lets it get a fresh start. Next we're going to enable the developer settings. So if you need to go ahead and pause it, but you're going to go to the about section in your settings. And then click on the build number until the little pop-up tells you developer mode has been turned on. Then you'll back up out of that and go down to developer options, which is a new menu option that you'll have. You can scroll down through here. There's tons of developer options. Most of them you're not going to really mess with anyway, but you might want to dig through and, and Google a few things yourself just to see if you're interested in changing something. Different devices have different developer options. Most of them are around the same, but some of them have extra little features for forcing GPU rendering and things like that that may help speed it up. But all we're going to be doing in here is changing some animation scales. So you'll go down to window animation scale, transition animation scale, and animator scale and change them all from 1 to 0 0.5 and that'll speed that up. Next we're going to download the CCleaner app from the Google Play Store and do a quick scan. If you've been around computers for a while then you're familiar with this app already. Uh, it's been popular on PCs for a long time and I use it on my device even though it may be controversial uh, and it's full of ads. It does work well and I've used it for a few years now so I don't have any complaints. You're just going to let it analyze your storage so it can find files very similar to what the files app did but it may find other things just like this that were not already cleared by the files app so we're going to go ahead and let it clear all of these that's a half a gig of data right there that'll be cleaned up that we don't necessarily need and as you scroll down you can see just like files had, there's several different options. There's, it'll show you all kind of downloaded files and you can just get rid of whatever you need to there. Now, another cool feature they have is the booster. You have to go through and provide access. I'm gonna show you how to do that. It pops this up automatically and tells you to go to CCleaner and then allow usage tracking. And then when you click the booster again, it's gonna show you all of the running apps. This is kind of alarming because there's so many things running in the background that you don't even use. All of these things have been running in the background on my phone and most of them are unnecessary. Like YouTube doesn't need to be running when I'm not using it. And I assume that's just to be able to send you notifications or something, but I'm gonna go through and disable a few things like the pattern, Adobe fill and sign, AliExpress, there's really no reason for that. Voice recorder. Copart. Instagram. Gmail, I don't need because I use the default Samsung Mail app. Cash app, that's probably for notifications or something. Call Protect is another one that you don't really need, but you can always you can always go back and open these apps if you need them. It's not like you're deleting them or anything like that. You're basically just putting them to sleep until you need them instead of having them run in your background all the time. So I'm just going to go down through the list and select a few and you should do the same. Now you're going to have to grant it permission to go through and do this automatically. So just click grant permission and then it makes it really easy for you. You just tick that little checkbox there and then it tells you what to click on here too go down to CCleaner and enable it. I'm not affiliated with CCleaner in any way. I've just used it for several years and it works for me. They, they don't pay me anything and I don't pay them anything. It's just a free app. But as you can see, it'll go through to your apps and it'll open it and force stop every one of those that you selected. So they're no longer running in the background until you open them up yourself next time. So I kind of like that little feature, especially if I'm about to play a game or something, I'll go ahead and do that and it'll help make sure the game runs a little more smoothly. 
and it only takes just a, a minute or so to go through and do this because most of it's done automated through seed cleaner. The last thing we're going to do to speed up our device is to check how our device compares against other devices in the same class. So we're going to do what's called a benchmark. We're going to use 3D Mark. It's available on the Play Store. And basically it's just going to run a really good graphic simulation and see how your device handles it. This is a common thing that people do with PCs a lot. I've done it with my cell phone several times with different phones to see how they compare. And you can see right there it says the Samsung Galaxy S9 can outperform 94% of phones in its test. So I guess we'll see how it stacks up against the others. It says the Galaxy S9 Plus scores on average 45.69 for this test. So let's let it run through. It's gonna go through about five minutes of testing. So just hang in there. I've sped this up just to show you. But while we're doing this, I wanna talk about Abunda. They've decided to sponsor me for a little bit and their product is great. It allows you to go on Amazon and pick out a product, paste that link in the Abunda website and you can finance any product that you want from Amazon. So if you're looking at a large purchase on Amazon.com, definitely check out Abunda so you can finance that product and break it down into easy monthly payments instead of paying a huge lump sum for something. Check them out. The link is in the description down there. And they've been really cool to work with and they've helped me out a lot. So let them help you to get your next device. As you can see, we scored a 3,777. Now this is gonna show you the performance snapshot. It'll show how it compares with other phones. So my phone scored a little lower than the average for the S9, which is not surprising considering all the stuff I run on this thing. But you can scroll down through this list and you'll be able to see all kinds of stuff the, as far as devices go. I mean, it, tons of devices that you can't even get at your local stores. And you can see how it stacks up to really find out where you place on the list. But that's all I've got for today, so I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you for watching.